Hello, this is a bit of a public service announcement for anybody that has one of these Dyson, what is this, Dyson Ball Animal Plus vacuums. Got this from Costco a few years ago. It's a great vacuum, but it has one problem. We moved recently. The carpet we have at our new place is luscious and this doesn't work. It just bobs down, it sucks up the carpet and the whole thing stalls out and you can't push it. So, um, figured out how to solve the problem and it only costs you a nickel. I searched the internet and there was all kinds of hacks on this thing, drilling holes here and cutting this thing off there, but figured out a non-destructive way to modify your Dyson vacuum so that it works for, I don't know, carpet that's a little bit more plushy and cushy. So if you're having this problem, check it out. I'm gonna take this sideball off here just so you can see the guts and what's going on. Pay attention to this right here. It's a really fancy linkage and it's gonna swing down. Right now, it's set up to suck up the tube that goes up the magic wand, right? When you pull the handle back, this swings down and it goes and sucks from the bottom. So watch this. Here it goes, swinging down, swinging down, boom, and it snaps into place. All right, so that is, that's a magical piece of this. And then it goes back up. So what's happening in my case is when that thing swings down, it's just way too much suction on here, right? So I tried a handful of different things, but at the end of the day, it just, it just sucks way too much, which normally wouldn't be a problem with the vacuum, but because this, nothing down here is adjustable, too much suction is a bad thing. So, here's what I did. I, you can see it, and I put a little zip tie in there and I made it so that the little tag sticking out is just the right amount so that that seal doesn't close all the way. It seems like a really weird thing to do to purposefully reduce the suction on your vacuum, but that's exactly what my problem needed. My problem was too much suction. If you look over here, you can see that keeps it open just a tiny bit. And it's nothing destructive, right? It's going to continue to work just fine. You can see the little zip tie over there on the other side. Here it is again, right? So it's tucked up out of the way and we come on down. It just does the perfect little flop right into place. Bonk. And it leaves me just a teeny gap. I didn't have to break my vacuum. I didn't have to go spend 500 bucks or whatever on a new one because this thing was not working on our carpet. I could not even push it. And then it just goes right back up to how it's supposed to be. And so the wand still has full suction then. So there, I just wanted to share that with you because that was really a head scratcher for me. And I use these little four inch zip ties because it seems like Whenever I buy zip ties, the cheapest way to get them is in like a, a kit or a package that has multiple sizes. And I always end up with a bunch of these little guys left over. So the little four inches seem to work the best. All right, well, I hope this helped you out. I guess we'll chat next time.